Have you ever wondered living in a sort of small city while cruising the ocean? With thousands of people on board and living together for months while being separated from families and friends? While getting used to the condition of much more cramped than in a normal city? Where the crews need to squeeze through the small corridors and share a bathroom and get used to a small common area with a television hooked up to one of the carrier's satellite dishes? Then we probably ask, how many people are actually living there? How do they eat? How do they sleep? Simply bustling our mind on how do the crews perform their daily routine in that such of a moving city. Hello everyone, you are watching another episode of Military TV. In today's session we will explore how life is going on in the aircraft carrier. To get more details on this experience, just sit back and relax. The modern supercarrier is widely regarded as a city at sea. This is probably true, since around 5,000 to 6,000 people are working, relaxing, eating, and sleeping on board for months at a time. However, it's not like any other modern city you would discover on normal land. It is generally known that the majority of residents have limited access to the outside world. The flight deck, hangar, and fantail all have wonderful views of the sea and sky, but they're so crowded and dangerous that only a few people are allowed to visit during normal operations. The highest levels of the island are secure, but due to sensitive operations and limited space, a large number of individuals cannot come into part. The sailor who works below decks may not see daylight for weeks at a time. Moreover, one of the first noticeable characteristics of living aboard a carrier is the different colored shirts worn by the crews, such as purple, green, blue, and red. Each sailor's shirt denotes a particular job on deck as fighter jets come in and take off. Additionally, jobs are varied, exactly as they would be in a normal city. The air wing, which consists of approximately 2,500 men and women who fly and repair aircraft, the ship's company, which consists of over 3,000 personnel, ensures that all aspects of the carrier work properly, from cleaning dishes and cooking meals to handling weaponry and operating the nuclear reactors. The aircraft seems to have everything its residents need to live comfortably, even if it isn't as luxurious as they would want. On board, there are various galleys, or kitchens, and mess halls that serve up to 18,000 meals every day. There's also a coffee shop serving Starbucks, called the Buck Stop, serving drinks like caramel macchiatos and white chocolate mochas. In addition, there's also a TV room, a church, and a little shop if somebody forgets something. The ship also contains a large laundry facility, dentist and doctor's offices, a variety of businesses, and a bank of satellite telephones for staff to communicate with their family. Lastly, life on board an aircraft carrier is unquestionably arduous and exhausting, but it can also be thrilling, particularly for the men and women who work on the flight deck, flying and landing jets on a sliver of runway. It's unlike anywhere else on the planet. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button for more updates on awesome videos. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.